Hello, welcome to Soul Print, and welcome to Pendulum Friday. Lots of really great questions this week, so I'm not going to chit-chat. I'm just going to get at it and get moving. Um, with a special thank you out to Joyce, because she just she just puts this stuff together and makes it wonderful for me. Alrighty, here we go. First question. Will entertainment news ever be replaced by quality news? Okay, I'm going to reword that a bit. Is entertainment news going to um, lose its popularity anytime soon? No. Our traditional news um, organizations working to create serious news broadcasts in addition to sort of, you know, more lighthearted news. Okay, yes. So what I'm hearing is... There's going to be both, much like there is now. All that's going to happen is it's going to become easier and easier to distinguish, you know, what we're watching, where that information is coming from. So that's what I get there. Uh, will this Cheney run in 2028? Is Liz Cheney looking to run for the government office in 2028? Okay, that's a strong yes. Is she going to run for the presidency? And that's a strong yes. And is she going to win? And that's a no. I will caution you, 2028 is a really long time from now. Uh, do you see the House impeaching Marjorie Taylor Greene? And that's a no. I am hearing. Um, they are just sort of ignoring her. Um, and when she pushes too hard in the other direction, they kind of slap her back. I think at this point they recognize that the House does not need any more theatrics and crazy there's enough of it. Okay. Will the trial for Enderon um, show that the show that the lawyer that approached him and brought up real estate be proved to have been some sort have been sent by forty five people to interfere with fraud case and give grounds for appeal? All right. Um. Okay, so that's shifted. There is now sort of certainly some sort of an investigation going on. So let's just focus on that. Um, is the result of the investigation into Egeron and his interaction with another lawyer, um, is that going to um, in any way alter the ruling on the Donald Trump um case I'm getting a yes um is will the investigation indicate that there are valid grounds for an appeal by Trump. Okay. Um, okay. Hunter Biden was indicted on three charges of tax evasion, plus another plus other charges in California. The trial is set for June twentieth. Will Biden win that case? Yes. So this is where there's a problem, right? Um, years after the fact, they are taking somebody to court 
for not paying their taxes or, or whatever. And except between then and now it's been paid. And so they're taking somebody to court. Um, like it, the story, like it's sort of one of those like technically, and I think some people are going to kind of be done with these kinds of shenanigans. It looks energetically right now, it looks like Biden's actually going to come out of this thing relatively okay. Will, if he loses, will he end up spending the full 17 years as a jail sentence? No, 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 no. Um, Okay, and there's also um, felony counts from owning a, a gun and using drugs while doing so. Um, this trial is set on the 3rd. Um, okay, so will this trial begin on June 3rd as, as scheduled? Yes. Is um, Biden going to win this lawsuit? Okay, so we've got kind of a, a really slow, wishy-washy yes. I think what's going to happen is he's going to, you know, win on one count, lose on one count, that kind of thing. I'm not sure. This is an interesting, because I didn't understand this. And is MSNBC getting a significant amount of pushback from viewers regarding um, Katie Turr's obvious bias towards uh, the former guy? So I tried to find... Something indicating that on the news, sort of, you know, in my feed. And in fact, Katie Tour is re as, as uh, rated as sort of center left. I think that Katie Tour was on the, on the campaign trail with Trump in 2016. And I think she has actually a very um, clear read on him. So I'm not understanding. I I'm going to say it this way. Um, is MSNBC getting, receiving pushback from viewers who are finding Katie Tour, um, her, her, you know, her more with a bias towards Trump? Are they getting that kind of inform? You know, is that kind of information working its way to them? Okay, that's a no. Um, and then the next one was, will MSNBC get rid of her next year? Well, I can tell you when I was looking for stuff, unless I got something right scrambled, apparently she's pregnant again. So she's going to be taking mat leave. So um, she will be gone for a while. So we'll move on to the next question. Biden and Trump have just agreed to CNN's invitation to debate on June 27th. Will that actually happen? No. It's Trump it some way or another. Yes. Will there be a president at any other time before the election? As of right now, that's a yes. So maybe it's just the one in June will not start um, or, or will not come together. Um, okay, so it's, uh, we'll, we'll try to say he's too busy with court appearances when the time comes. He'll come up with whatever excuses he needs to, frankly. Um, did Donald and Melania even discuss Barron's selection to be a uh, a Florida delegate to, get delegate to the RNC before it was first announced? No, they did not. Um, is Barron Trump relieved to not have to serve as a delegate? Yes. Um, for those of you who might have missed it, Trump announced it one day, or the Trump campaign, whoever announced it one day, and the next day, um, Mama Bear Melania was saying, nope, not going to happen. And so it's not going to happen. Um Do you see Baron Trump becoming like his dad and brothers in the future? Whoa. Kind of a really loaded question.
we, we're getting a yes here. You know, you have to take into account those immediate family members, whether it's mom, dad, stepsisters, stepbrothers, whatever. If you're raised in an environment that they clearly are raised in, um, you're, there's always going to be some elements of that. The question is whether he uses them for good or, you know, or evil. Um, right now, he's 18. He's got a long, long road ahead of him. Um, so, you know, now you're going to be seeing this on Friday and it is Baron's graduation on Friday. So um, does Baron want to have his dad actually at the graduation? Okay, so yeah. Okay. Is Trump actually going to go to the inaugural to the graduation since Judge Marchand gave him the day off court to attend? Okay, yes. Is that being um, firmly suggested by his lawyers? Yes. So the lawyers have basically said that was that was clever when you did that. Now you get your ass to that graduation because if you don't, um, the steam is going to, you know, <laughs> come out of Marshawn's ears. Um, I also, I, I do know, or I'm pretty sure I know that there's going to be other um, events held on Friday. And that's fine. I mean, a graduation ceremony is a couple of hours. It's not like it's a whole day long event. Um, does Melania want Donald to be at Barron's graduation? Yes. You know, this is the thing, right? Um, it's a good thing when parents don't stick their kid in the middle. And so, frankly, M Melania would want what her son wants. And maybe for her son, it's really important that he get that acknowledgement from his dad. That's that's all of the empathy and sympathy and compassion I have for that right now. That was it. It's not all. Um, are Donald's other offspring miffed that he never attended their graduation? They're probably all really, really grateful. Um, it, it, I'm going to say it this way. Is there Has there been any stress over the fact that um, Donald Trump has now sort of cornered himself into um, attending Barron's graduation. So, question, are the other siblings annoyed that that didn't happen for them? No. What can you say? Um, in a recent video, Glenn Kushner showed his viewers how to complete a judicial misconduct form through uscourt.gov against Alien Cannon. Has the volume of viewers, res viewers' responses overwhelmed the 11th Circuit Courthouse in Atlanta, Georgia? You know what? I'm very confused about this. Um, because Eileen Cannon would be in Florida. Is, is Florida and Georgia maybe part of the 11th Circuit? We'll go with that. Um, is is the courthouse in um, Atlanta receiving a lot of um, response in terms of um, complaints against Judge uh, Cannon? Yeah, they are. Will Putin still be in power at the end of this year? Yes. I don't think much longer, but for now. Will SCOTUS rule on 45's immunity case by the end of June? Yes. Will we know the results of the November 2024 elections by the next day?
So we're not really getting any answer. What I'm hearing is it's going to take until it's like a day and a half after the, poll, the last poll closes. So there's your answer there. Um, well, Biden's second inauguration on in January of 2025 goes smoothly. As of right now, looks like it will. Well, the DJT stock, Trump Media so True Social, be the payoff he thinks or be a huge scandal? Um, is Trump going to get the payoff that he thinks he's going to or he's anticipating? No. I don't know what's going to go wrong or what he's going to do, but something is. Will the appears court in Georgia decision be a positive one towards Miss Bonnie Willis. That looks like a yes. It's going to go in her favor. And will she be able to continue her work without any further interruptions on the Trump case? Yes. Are the choruses of sycophants in matching outfits dooming their own careers? Some of them indeed are going to, to, to damage their careers. They're not going to have answers when people who aren't mega start asking them really difficult questions. They're not going to have the answers. Um, are the elected Republicans that are attending their friend Trump's funeral paying for their expenses to New York? Huh? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure they're back. Qualify somehow as a business travel. Um, do I see Trump having a major health event before July? Is Trump likely to have a significant health issue between now and the end of July? That's a yes. Um, is the DOG holding back on dealing with Judge Cannon and her incompetence because they don't want more Trump? Cases before the election. No. And even furthermore, um, the, there's only so much the Department of Justice can do with returns to, with regards to um, Pannon. But more, Smith is an independent agent when it comes to this investigation. So, the DOJ has nothing to do with organizing the timing of the various lawsuits. It, it has nothing to do with them. It has to do with the judges and the lawyers and availability of space, etc. Is Mike Johnson wanting the VP position? That's a yes right now. Is someone from Trump's Secret Service reporting back to headquarters things Trump might be doing illegal, like moving documents, etc.? Okay. Is there some sort of um is there some sort of connection between The Secret Service and the Secret Service who are working for Donald Trump is their back and forth. So are are the ones with him, are they being mindful and monitoring of what's going on around him and what he does? Yes. Are they reporting back? So this is the thing. If they flat out saw him doing something illegal, they would, I'm pretty sure, have no legal option but to report it. Um, so, and, and even though, you know, Trump has a very foggy idea of law and truth and, you know, not breaking the law, even he um, would be clever enough to figure out he shouldn't blatantly break the law in front of 
U.S. Secret Service agents. They're not Donald Trump Secret Service agents. They are U.S. So I think whatever's going on, he may be watching. They, you know, they may be watching him, but he's not going to do anything that is um, that that obvious. Um, is Donald Trump Secret Service detail on his side or ours? All right. Um, it, the Secret Service agents that are working with Donald Trump is their first alliance and responsibility to the United States. Yes. Okay, there you have it. Uh, does May May Haberman regret that her texts with Cohen came out in the court testimony? I wasn't actually aware that they had. Um, is that a concern for her in any way? I'm getting a no. All right. Kinds of great questions. Here we go. So, um, if you saw yesterday's video, um, I'm taking a little bit of time off next week. I... Um, I will probably be putting out videos. I'm just not exactly sure the timing. So if you haven't already, you might want to click the notification bell so that when I do release them, um, if I do release them, you'll get notified. Um, a little, uh, just a little bit of a heads up. So earlier this week, I think, um, there is a YouTube channel. It's Steve or Steven Job, J-O-B-B. -B, I think astrology. He's from Britain somewhere. He did a video called uh, uh, like lead up to uh, the U.S. election or something. And it was really, really interesting what he was talking about. He was talking about the fact that the um, Republican convention is just going to be like insane in terms of what will be going on astrologically. And then the um, Democratic convention it's also going to have some kinks and, and terms thrown into it. In this in this video, he did question whether, frankly, one or either of them were actually going to be um, on the ticket in November. So he's really good at what he does. I mean, this is not somebody flaky. So it was really interesting to kind of get sort of an unbiased or or a more straightforward. Um, you know, interpretation or impression because, you know, there's a lot of really amazing astrologers that I'm sure we all listen to, but, it, you know, you want to make sure that you're getting, your, you know, kind of news from a bunch of different sources um, and you want to be monitoring where you're getting your information from. However, let's not pick on him. What I'm saying is they were really, really interesting um, sort of statement. And so over this weekend or early in the next week, um, somewhere along the way, I'm really going to be curious to do a mini on both of the actual conventions and see if I can figure out what the heck is, is likely to go on there. If I'm not mistaken, um, the RNC is in July, and I think that the um, – the Democrat is in August. Okay, that's what I know. I'm going to stop rambling. Thank you very, very much for being here. I look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you always, always for all of your support. Um, do something nice for yourself and someone else and take good care until I see you next